Mm-hmm. <laughs>
The son of a dream, the American nightmare. Michael, a man who redefined himself away from WWE and is now a main event star. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Atlanta, Georgia, weighing in at 220 pounds. One half of the WCW World Tag Team Champions, the American Nightmare, Cody Rhodes. From undesirable to undeniable, the prodigal son is in WWE. And he is set to make up for lost time in a major way.
Cody Rhodes out here tonight. I'd always a chip on his shoulder, always with something to prove. And he competes like it. But I would argue that if there is any WWE superstar who has already proven all they have to prove, it is Cody. Absolutely undeniable every time he steps between the ropes. That is the legacy Cody Rhodes wants to uphold. And he's stepping into the ring with a monster. T-Bone has used his disappointment and his anger as fuel to become the deadliest possible version of himself. A WWE career of being passed over awakens something inhuman in T-Bone. Under retribution, he's finally got the chance to show everyone what he can do. Please. It wasn't the height or distance that caused the damage, but they certainly contributed. Taking this one back to the ring now. Heads outside, but this one has to end in the ring. Producing a trampling. Shot to the back of the neck. Cody is picking the opposition apart. Yeah, Cody Rhodes is clearly in control. Cody Rhodes rallying up the crowd like only a Rhodes can. Right to the throat. Great move. And T-Bar's aggression got met in full force there. Yeah, as Cody clearly came into this fight with something to prove. Just look at him now. Goes into the pin. And he's still in this. T-Bar struggling to defend himself. T-Bar has to find a way to turn things around. All the way. God. It couldn't have felt good being sucked around. Perfect time to attack when his guard is down. And Cody Rhodes reverses. Set up for the throw oh, sweep. Nicely done. Cody has him up. The following contest is scheduled for one fall and is for the WCW Women's Championship. Gentlemen, are you ready? I think Dakota Kai is about to get her kick. I see what you did there. Look at that intimidating scowl. A world-traveled competitor has taken her game to the next level since joining Damage Control. Well, some would say Kai's got a questionable attitude, but besides that, she's proven she will do anything to win. Oh, and now she has even more help in the form of Damage Control. Byron. 
sounds like the EST of the commentary team. The worst? The dumbest. The ugliest. Hey, that, those are dumb examples. Watch what you say. Hey, Bianca, make such a confident entrance. Let's be honest, it's because Bianca Belair realizes exactly how great she is. Uh, uh, um, Corey, not just great, the greatest. Get it? Introducing the challenger from Auckland, New Zealand, Dakota Kai! And her opponent from Knoxville, Tennessee, she is the WCW Women's Champion, Bianca Belair! Looking at the champion, I guarantee there is no doubt in their mind as to who is leaving this match with the title around their waist. One thing that separates Bianca Belair from the rest of the pack is her killer instinct. Belair shows no hesitation when it's time to launch an attack. I can't say the same for Dakota Kai. That's a great point, Corey. In previous encounters against Bianca Belair, Kai has suffered from a lack of follow-through and a lack of confidence. You're not going to last long in the ring with an aggressive Bianca Belair. Great points, the only kind I make. Ooh, well measured. Dakota wards off the attack. From behind, back suplex. Waistline applied. Great body control. Bianca is showing zero restraint. Belair is showing no mercy out here. You can tell she wants to put an end to this. Watch out. Somersault plancha. Just exhibiting their fearlessness. Exhibiting guts and accuracy as well. Battling at ringside can be very unforgiving. You have to be careful out there. No protection out here. No safe confines to speak of. Three. Bianca telling her opponent, come get some. Returning to the ring now. This is gonna hurt. Stop right to the belly. The champ taking their share of hits now. Put her in the corner now. Oh, she counters right back on Kai. Answered with a shot right to the face. Ah, stand there. Picking up speed. Penalty kick. And Belair is being broken down. Bianca here in a disheartening position. 
She did her homework there. Going for the ride. Oh, a slam. Champ looking to end this. She still fights out in one. Still in it. What a gutsy performance. Uh-oh. Oh, man. Turns that into a devastating shot to the knee. Slips out of the way. Forget about pandering to the WWE Universe. That should keep her head in the game. And some effective offense with that one. Joy! Oh, stop! Well-placed kick. Uh. Oh, right to the leg. Focused attack on the leg. Bang! The champ not looking great right now. There's been plenty of action in this match, and the cost of that is really showing now. There's a double stop right down on the arm. Pinning down their opponent's arm. Vicious knee drop. <laughs> Dakota Kai. Crucifix chokehold. Wow. Oh, man. There's nowhere for her to go. This may. A couple of knees, and then another one, and that'll force the break. Short kicks. Boom! Relentless attack from Dakota here. Kai is being smart and not letting up. Here's the pin title on the line! And the rope will force the break. Dakota Kai, detonation kick. Gonna see a new champ. Cover. They got it. New champ. What a moment. Here is your winner. And the new WCW Women's Champion, Dakota Kai. An exciting match that concludes with a title changing hand to go from challenger to champion. That has to feel good. Unless you're the one going from champion to nothing. It's a hostile takeover! The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring, representing the Outsiders. From Detroit, Michigan, weighing in at 328 pounds, the WCW oh. Heavyweight Champion, Kevin! forget Bash at the Beach 1996, the formation of the NWO. The entire world of sports entertainment, Corey, was turned on its head. It was shocked. It was a surreal scene, and that charge was led by Kevin Ash and Scott Hall.
Here comes Ted. And his opponent, representing the Street Profits from Chicago, Illinois, weighing in at 232 pounds, Montez Ford. Man, Montez Ford just loves to have a good time. Oh, he sure does, but right now it's time to get serious. Maybe Nancy now, but is he going to be ready when the bell rings? He'd better be. Oh, just loosen up, guys. Enjoy the fun. Unstoppable enthusiasm for competition. Cup in hand, ready for a good time. But we'll throw hands at any time. Bell rings and Kevin Ash set for competition. Defiant, arrogant, dangerous. All words to describe this behemoth. You forgot cold-blooded and menacing, Cole. Big Daddy Cool is all about dominating and flattening the competition, so you can bet we're in store for some mayhem tonight. Maybe I should also add disruptive to the list, Corey. But don't let the charming smile of Montez Ford fool you into thinking he's an easy target. Ford is one of the most fiercely competitive superstars here in WWE. He loves to take on new challenges and prove that he can rise to the occasion. An admirable trait to have, but if Montez wants to reach such big aspirations, he's gonna have to fully focus on the ring instead of planning after parties. as Ford finds himself on the defensive. Everything going. He can do it here. Power oh, and one. A truly impressive kick out this late. And he sends him into the corner. And that might start the momentum swing that Montez needed. Ford weathered the storm and is looking to rain down some damage of his own. Oh, over the top. Outside of the ring is not where this guy wants to be. Here we go. Take off. Suicide dive. That is the attitude of a daredevil. The ability to take risk with minimal trepidation. No fear, absolute reckless abandon. Ooh, that hurt right to the kidney. Golly. Uh-oh, flashback. Oh, clubbing blow to the back. Big boot. All right, that's it. Down to opponent oh. and a double axe handle smash. Oh, he grew tired of his smoke.